Hey gamers, it's the Mad or Fool. We'll go back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. Um, what I did off screen is I unlocked um I got a, a dive ball, a blue shard, and a raspberry. I also caught a Pokemon that I was looking for on the route to the Safari Zone. Let's back up a little bit. Um my Pokemon leveled up one from the stroll. I also got to Bellsprout Tower. Um, which we started yesterday, and I, um, unlocked Suburban Area, which I can now go for a stroll, and I can, uh, find the Pokemon that I'm looking for, Elekid. Elekid is in a Fire Red and Leaf Green also. Um, depending on which game you're playing, there are variations to what type of Pokemon you can find. So if you're playing, I think, I think it's Leaf Green you can get Elekid. I'm not really that sure, but um, I would recommend Elekid. It's a good electric type Pokemon with good stats, and it's overall a pretty good Pokemon. Um, Magby leveled up a little bit too, and so did Pidgey. Um, someone's Pokemon. Move Pokemon. Um, we want my new Starmie, or my Staryu. Um, Star Me is the evolution of Star You. Um, when Star Me evolves, or Star You evolves into Star Me, its um, special type uh, water attacks grow, and um, it's proven because Misty even says my strategy is all out offensive water type, and that's basically what you should do if you have all base water type Pokemon. It's really not that hard to follow. Um, so we have Pidgey. Totodile, Staryu, and Magby. Yeah! Yeah! Um, let's talk to Totodile. I, I haven't talked to my Totodile today. I've been at school the whole day. Your Pokemon Leon loudly. Wonderful. Let's, uh, let's get a full view here. Actually, let me, let me zoom out a little. There we go. Um, when your Pokemon loses health on the Pokewalker, um, that health is only temporary per battle. Say you want to use 10 watts to use the Poke Raider to find a Pokemon, it won't affect you. Um, let's go ahead and check the time. Right now it's 6.55 Wednesday. Um, at nighttime you can come here and catch the Pokemon Ghastly. Ghastly is my preferred ghost type Pokemon in the, from the original series. Um, I recommend Ghastly completely. It's my favorite ghost type Pokemon, and it's just the get best ghost poison that I could think of. Um, I didn't off screen this trainer. We did it in the last episode, so don't say, oh, well, Chaka would have covered this, or oh, you didn't get that. So, you know what? Shut your mouth. I did it. Um, this is this is a required trainer battle right here. We, uh, Sun God held us tower. He expressed gratitude and respect for Pokemon. I'm just gonna have fun with these Asian old men sage voices or whatever you wanna call them. I'm just having too much fun with this. Um, you're challenged by Sage Chow. <laughs> you were challenged by Mr. Chow. Um, if you don't know the reference, Mr. Chow is um an international gangster, an Asian international gangster who's I believe Chinese or Korean and he's from the hangover. And, well, you just, it's just freaking funny. You have to see the movie. Mr. Chow. Mr. Plow is for kids. Mr. Chow is not. Keep that away. Robert, if you're not viewing these videos, I will find you and I will, uh, I have a, I have a friend of mine that, um, I've been asking you to view my videos for a long time. Godzilla got pissed and began to attack, but he didn't expect to get blocked by a shark. Bellsprout. Bellsprout. Um, there's an attack that Bellsprout can use, but I don't, we're not going to let it use it. Um, it's an attack that can repeatedly um, increase its stats as the battle goes on. And its attack can be continuous, but it hasn't used it yet. And it's most of the time confused with another word, if you're thinking of what I'm thinking. Yeah. 
Wait, I don't think it's gonna use that attack. Um, if you put the action replay code for any sprite modifier, you can play as Brock. If you put 175 as the um, end of the third binary digit, I believe. I've done it before. You can play as Bro Brock, which will always moonwalk, or whenever you get on a bicycle, you'll just run really fast. Um, in the tower, you can find um, regular Pokemon such as Rattata in the beginning routes of um, Pallet Town and New Bark. Pallet Town is an area in. Let me zoom the screen in. Pallet Town is an area. Er, focus it. Is an area at the beginning of um, Fire Red and Leaf Green, and basically it's where your adventure starts. Also, New Bark Town is um, where our adventure started in Jota. Um, right now we're at five minutes, so we're doing okay. We're not doing that bad. Um, Bellsprout, Bellsprout. Um, I don't want to use water type attacks because Bellsprout is a grass type Pokemon and it's, um, it's resistance, I think, to half resistance to water attacks. If it was full resistance, then the attack wouldn't matter at all and it wouldn't do anything. Um, I think off screen I'm going to level this, my Pokemon up to level 15 if I can. Because I'm getting ready to evolve it. Um, Totodile evolves into level 16 into its next, um, evolution, and I think it's gonna know some good water-type attacks, because when you get to Azalea Town, your, um, foe's Pokemon will already be evolved, so, it's a win-win for both of you, your rival and you. Let me scoot the camera over. Um, that's proud. Godzilla grew to level 12. Um, when you go, when you level up, you also, um, have your, your speed, special defense, defense, attack. Overall, your base stats grow about two, I believe. Um, if you use rare candies, rare candy is basically an item that, um, levels up your Pokemon. Say your Pokemon's level 12, it levels it up without having to fight, um, other Pokemon. But it's considered cheating because, um, in black and white, you can get up to 900 rare candies. It's considered a cheat hack. On it. And if you try to find shiny Pokemon, shiny Pokemon, I was trying to explain it, but I got distracted. Shiny Pokemon are Pokemon that um, are hard to catch, or the formula is different, because they have a different coloration, or a rare coloration. Um, shiny Pokemon, and they're, ugh, they appear differently in the wild, making them more rare to trade. That's what shiny Pokemon are. It also, I think it makes your attack stronger, but I'm not sure about if that's true. Um, you can post in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it does. Um, shiny Pokemon can also be by using um, a system called Soft Reset, where you can reset the game multiple times to get a uh, starter Pokemon that's shiny. Um, I think that does it for this episode. In the end of next episode, we'll get to the end of Bellsprout Tower. But you know what? Let's do one more trainer before we get before we leave. I don't know why I can't speak today. I twenty twelve height and enlightenment in Pokemon. <sighs> sage, oh, okay, this should be quick. Um, if you haven't noticed, all the, the uh, sages in here have normal grass type Pokemon, or pure grass types, and they're all sages. Um, if you want, I have the 2007 um, Kanto Johto decks. Um, I could read you the um, the entries from Bulbasaur to Sweet and I can read you any entry you want. I have a Pokedex also. Um, the electronic Pokedex. So if you want me to read you an entry, I can read you, um, one of the name of the Pokemon. I'm gonna have to go back and, um, I think I'm gonna get Godzilla up to level 14. So I'll see you guys then. Anyway, this has been the Man Wolf. I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Pokemon Heart Gold, So Silver, and Crystal. See you guys then. If you enjoy my video, subscribe. If you subscribe, enjoy.